Hey guys, it's Sally here from Strength for Dance. Today we're going to be looking at uh, thresholds, tissue tolerance and pain thresholds as well. So I'm just using this little graph here on my nifty whiteboard. What this is representing here is a tissue tolerance line or threshold. So when we put load into a tissue, when we get to a certain point, the tissue won't be able to cope anymore. Now, this is normally what we want from our strength training anyway, because we want to add load into it. The tissue gets stressed and it adapts and changes and becomes stronger. We can also apply this to pain threshold. So this is what we'll be looking at. So in normal terms, we're exercising, we stretch our tissues, they get stronger. And as we dance, we're getting quite close. And then we might be down here again doing our activities and then we might get close. Now, if we are working, let's say, with poor technique, or we're doing something that our body isn't capable of doing, or maybe we're very tired, dehydrated, or in a poor nutritional state, we might pop over this threshold. And what we feel then is pain. Now, maybe in about two days, we rest, things get back to normal, and we pop back under the threshold again and carry on with our activities. But we might be just jiggling underneath here like this. And then something very small will happen and pop us back over again. So we're back over the top of our pain threshold once more. Now, what we want to be doing with our training, so our stability training and our strength training, is bringing our tissues down here. So yes, we're going to go up and down all the time as we exercise and move around, but we want to stay underneath this threshold line and well away from the threshold. So what we have is what I call a large buffer. When you are plagued with ongoing niggles and pain, you will tend to be hovering around here and constantly nipping over and above and over and above. And then maybe you end up in pain for a couple of weeks and then you might do something and you nip here again, then it flares up again and it may get quite bad and you end up with a pain threshold like this. This is one of the reasons as well why when you have therapy, physiotherapy, chiro, osteo, or working with your exercise physiologist, as soon as your pain levels drop, this isn't the time to stop treatment. This is the time to keep doing your rehab, making your movement better, more centralized and stronger so that you end up down here. And then you have this large buffer area that you can work within before you end up into the area of tissue damage and pain. So the take homes from this is that we all have a threshold above which we will have tissue damage or experience pain. Now, the more training we do, you can actually increase the level of your threshold. So the more strength training I do, the stronger and more robust my fascia is, the better my nerves respond and the better my muscle tissue, my threshold is actually going to increase. And that means my buffer area is a lot bigger for my training. And so then it's going to take a lot more load, a lot more stress on my system for me to ping over into this area, which would be my pain area. So once again, guys, another really good step in the direction of strength and stability training. Let's work on promoting this buffer area, increasing our threshold and decreasing the amount of symptoms we feel above the line. We definitely want to be working below the line for happy dancing. See you guys.